Welcome back. In this session, I'm just going to be briefly going over the machine type lathe, machine type, and uh, go over the options for it a little bit to get you a little familiar with it before we start our first exercise. So to get that started, just go up here to machine type, and then go down to lathe, and then just go to default. We don't have a manage list uh, set up. Then you're going to see this show up, machine group 1, and then you're going to see properties, lathe default, toolpath group 1. So now if you expand the properties, that's going to be your options for the lathe toolbars. You're going to see files, tool settings, stock setup, and safety zone. Now, we're going to get started by learning the tool settings in here and the stock setup. So if you go to tool settings and just left click on it, you're going to get this uh, dialog box appears. For program, you always want to name your program, your first program, we would name it number one. You can name it whatever you like. We're going to use feed calculation. You have the choices to click from tools, from material, from default, and then user defined. So you have four options here. For our most of our tutorials, if not all of them, we're going to use from tool. We're going to do all the calculations from the tool. Now for you, you have the choice to uh, change it depending on the material you're using, and you'll learn how to set up your own material in every single uh, exercise. Uh, from default, whatever Metrocam's default is, and then user defined. If you want to set up your own speed rates that are going to be set up automatically for every tool that you use. And then you can adjust the feed on arc move. Now if you come up here to the right side, you're going to see toolpath configuration. For all of our exercises, we're going to use assign tool number sequentially. And then warn of duplicate tool numbers. This way you know if you have, you'll get a little warning if you get more than one tool that we're using. This way you don't be using more than two tool more than one tool unless you want to not use the first tool that you use and use a secondary tool that's exactly the same just in case that first tool got damaged for any reason. Now also if you come down here to advanced options you're gonna see overwrite defaults with module values. So we're gonna probably be using this as well a little bit later but we if you click on this we'll usually click on clearance height, retract height, in feed plane. So basically every time you choose different clearance height, retract height, and feed rate, you can actually overwrite them with this option. So we're going to leave this unchecked. Now if you look at sequence, sequence number, start with 100 and increment by 2. So it would be 100 is the first one, 102, 103, and those are going to be your line numbers. Now if you come over here to stock, setup, and you're going to see here stock setup. Now this button right here allows you to choose a different view so if I left click on it you're gonna see a top front back bottom right left and then the ISO and then you also got your DZ view whatever you have uh, your current view on we're gonna leave this at top just click on cancel now we got your stock you can actually choose if you want to be a left spindle or right spindle depending if it's on the right side or the left side and then you got your chug jaw on the left spindle or the right spindle as well. And then you have your properties for both, which we'll be going over in the next session. Now then you got your tails, uh, tail stock center. You got properties for that. Steady rest property for that as well. And we'll go over in the next sessions. Uh, what what while I'm going over them in the next sessions, you'll learn a little bit more. I don't want to explain too much now and get you all confused. Now the display options. You can choose how you want to display them as well. There's then the rapid moves. You can choose your rapid moves and entry exit moves as well. And then you can use machine tree as well. And I'll show you what that means a little bit later. So those are your options for the set, a stock setup. And I just wanted to briefly go over them. This way when I go over them in the next session, it's going to be more detailed. So you're not going to be as confused when I get started on them. So there's tool settings. That's what we went over in the session. And the tool uh, setup. And click on the check mark right here. Now if I click on the... Uh, question mark over here it helps explain to me a little bit of what these features are a little bit more so if you're confused about anything click on the check mark and it will go over the stock setup for you it's a help file so I'm gonna click on the uh, if you click on the question mark I'm sorry I'm gonna click on the check mark to exit this now remember if you click any one of those that same dialog is gonna appear so if I click on file for example remember files over here this is where I'm gonna be saving my file I'm going to be calling it group machine group one, which is this name right here. 
and you've got your options for files where you want to tool the library is, where the operations library is, all the folder setups. So you so MasterCam knows where to grab all your tools, all your machines, and everything. Now you, also you got your safety zone over here, and we'll learn that, how to use that a little bit later as well. But the main two things you'll be learning is tool setup, uh, tool settings, and stock setup. Those are the main two things that you'll be using in this entire tutorial. So there we go, we briefly went through it and we're ready to get started in the first exercise.